If your auger teeth are looking anything like this, then you should really consider changing them sooner rather than later. Today, I'm gonna to show you how we do that. Let's go take a look. At Digger, we have three different styles of teeth. So we have your flat bladed general purpose tooth, You've got your earth rock combo tapered tooth, and you also have your rotating dedicated rock pick tooth. Uh, today, we're gonna to be starting off with the most common of teeth, which is the general purpose bladed teeth. Follow these first steps to remove them. If a pin lock was put into place, remove the nylon pin by using a hole puncher or by breaking the pin. Place a pin punch or sensor punch at the base of a tooth. Tap on the back of the punch with a hammer to dislodge the tooth. Once removed, we move into replacing the teeth. First, you have the option to use rubber lock for additional hold. If you choose to do so, cut the rubber approximately three mil shorter than the width of the tooth. Moisten the rubber in water to assist in tooth assembly. Insert the cut piece of rubber through the horizontal hole in the web of the holder. Centralize the rubber in the holder. Then we move on to replacing the teeth. Ensure that the cutting edges on the auger teeth are facing the same way as the pilot and the rubber pads are facing towards the auger flights. Place new teeth in the pockets. With the auger tooth placed in the pocket, knock the tooth in with a soft head mallet. If a pin lock was put into place initially, replace with a new nylon pin through the top of the pocket, locking the tooth further into place. The tapered auger teeth, which are used on our earth rock combo range of augers. To remove them, place a pin punch or center punch in the hole at the base of the tooth holder. Ensure the tapered side of the punch is facing up towards the bottom of the tooth. Use a hammer to tap the punch into the hole to lift the tooth. Once removed, place new teeth in the pockets. Ensure the ridge of the tooth is facing the ridge of the pocket. With the auger tooth placed in the pocket, knock the tooth in all the way with a soft head mallet until the bottom of the tooth head is past the top of the pocket's ridge. Finally, I will show you how to remove and replace rotating pick teeth found on dedicated rock augers. Remove the tooth with a rotating pick removal tool. Alternatively, Use a pin punch and soft head mallet. Replace the tooth and knock it in all the way with a soft head mallet. Replacing the pilot is similar on all augers. Move the auger into position so the tip is easily accessible. Remove the pilot by unbolting it. Once removed, replace it with a new one and secure it with the provided nut and bolt. Before starting to drill, please always ensure that all teeth and pilots are locked in tight. So there you have it guys, just make sure you look after your equipment so you can keep it running at its best performance. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to give us a call on 1300 2 Digger or shoot us a message on our social media.